So today we're calibrating a dyno. What we're trying to do is getting the zero point first. Doing a zero volts. Almost. That's zero. And uh, we're fitting a, a ear there. And the load cell is pushing this way. See the voltage is changing. So let's make that zero. So now we're going to fit the calibration arm and zero the voltage again. Uh, we fitted the ball, the nuts, so we know. Why it is good? Sorry for the noise. Someone is grinding in the back there. Um, let's fit that, uh, that uh, calibration arm, and then we'll come back. So let's briefly explain how this calibration thing works here. Um, we are applying a force here. We know this length. So we we apply a force in newton, and this is meters. So the result is newton meters. So if we know this length here from the center to the point where actually where we're actually pushing, so let's say 100 newtons times one meter equals 100 newton meter. If that's shorter, if that's shorter, let's say this is only half a meter, is 100 times 0.5 is 50 newton meters. If you make it longer, and that's what you do if you got big dynos, you just make that longer, so you don't need to apply that much force. It doesn't matter if you hang a weight here, or if you push on this side, and that's exactly what we do. We, we use a calibrated load cell here, and we push with a bottle check in this direction. So this force will go down and compress the load cell. If the engine is turning this way clockwise, the force will go in this direction so it's exactly the same if you push up here or put some weights on there the problem is with big dinos you, you, you shovel tons of weights on this end so it's easier to pump it up with a bottle jack and uh, do the calibration so all you need to check is the length from the center of the dyno to the point where you push not the length of the arm it's actually the point where you push and uh, if it's an odd length, just calculate it and you get the figures out of it. Um, I think that the arm length was a bit odd. Uh, it was 0.687 millimeters or so. And from, if you want to get from kilos to newton meters, so kilograms times 9.81 equals newton meters because that's the gravity constant roughly on our Earth. Ideally, calibrate the load cell, whatever comes out of here. Um, with the control system or with the data acquisition system but in this case the customer didn't have one he was just using a gauge uh, basically a voltmeter so what we did we had a, a strain gauge amplifier and we, me we were measuring this voltage which was coming out here so th we calibrated the voltage so th the whole thing was calibrated in volts equals some newton meters Again, normally it's calibrated with a control system, but there is no one. They only wanted to measure the voltage. I think they have some sort of gauge, which is just calibrated with this voltage here. It doesn't matter, it's a gauge 0 to 10 volts, and they just change the scale to newton meters, and that's about it. Anyway, any questions, let me know. And uh, let's carry on with the calibration. We now fitted that arm on this side. We need to counterbalance the extra weight here to get a zero reading, which have we done now. And uh, now with the calibration set and uh, pump it up. Got a calibrated load cell, and uh, we're just gonna rig that and then we'll pump it up. So that's how the setup looks like. You got a calibrated load cell at ball to make sure it's centered. And uh, a bottle jack, and we just pump that up, and hopefully the members are visible. So
So at the moment we're reading zero, that's zero. Is zero volts. And all we do is uh, something that up. Our first step is 166.6 kilograms. So make the 167 kilograms. It's all about pumping up the thing to the right weight. Again, this is calibrated. This is a calibrator as well. So, under 67 kilograms is our target. And that's a little bit too much, but it doesn't matter. This is still leaking here. And it, it always takes a bit to settle. So, if you wait, and then you read the voltage under 67. It's a bit tricky at the bottom end, but uh, that's 1.12 volts. 1.12 volts. And now we're going to 333 kilograms. It's, it's coming down first because the, the bottle check is always leaking a little bit and also the wood is compressing which makes the whole thing a lot easier. So that's 2.29 volts. Sorry. Let's do that again. Two point two four volts. 2.24 and uh, then we do 3000 that's 499, 500 kilograms is our next point. Just crank it up slowly. Everything needs to settle a little bit. Yeah, it's probably a bit much. Let's see how it settles. That's 3.36 volts. Three point three seven. Three point three seven volts. Okay, next point is six hundred sixty six point five, so six hundred sixty seven. Move that camera a little bit. Uh, a bit too far. Tiny little, it makes a big difference here. So, 667 is our target. That's 4.5 exactly. 4.5 volts exactly. So 833 is our next one. Sorry, I had a visitor here. Um, 833. Always let it settle a little bit. So that's 5.6. Five point six two. Five point six two volts. So the next uh, next one is thousand kilograms. That's a bit too much. Just wait until it comes down, and then read the number. I guess 6.75 or so. Don't know if that's visible, but I, there's nothing I can do really. Yeah. 
6.76 volts. Our next point is 1166 kilograms. That's 7.87. Let's check that again. Seven point eight seven. Seven point eight seven volts. And next point is thirteen hundred thirty three kilograms. That's nine point oh one. Nine point oh one volts. Let's check that again. 13, 33 is our target. I know it's boring to watch it, but patience is important when you do these things. 9.01 is fine. So next point is 1500 kilograms. And that's our final point. So we're expecting almost 10 volts there. So that is 10.13, that's what I've seen. Ten point one four, that's fine, ten point one four. So that's it so far. We got all the points, the numbers make sense here, they nice and consecutive. So all we do is just letting the thing down here and just do a few random checks and the 66 we're expecting 1.12 that's fine so you end the 33 that's 2.24 Good, perfect. All right. So and that's how the whole thing looks like. The load cell is compressing here. We got our counterbalance weights, and we got a, an amplifier here, and that's about it. That's how you calibrate a dyno. So that ball is actually centering here, and there is a. Uh, counterpart here as well. So we're we'll reading minus point zero zero seven, which is perfectly fine. Now we take the arm off, this arm, take our counterweights off, and check if it's reading zero, and then we don't. So that's our zero point. I don't know if that's visible. There's probably a lot of glare. It's a top reading, 0 0.005 volts. That's nothing. Uh, We've got the arm off, we've got the counterweights off, so that's it, job done, that's how you calibrate a dyno, and uh, I will explain the details a bit in the quiet, and uh, how we calculate all these numbers and things like that, alright, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Until next time.